we're gonna take it back here, do a little internal pod. We just felt like we got a lot to talk about. So we got Bob, we got me. Steiny's taking a steamer. We got Salim. We had mm-hmm. a fucking. Uh, oh, it's by the way. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wait, time out. No, you're in my seat. I'm in your seat. Yeah, we got to switch. Why? I just don't like my angle. You have a good side and a bad side. I have a bad side. Is that all right, Salim? Do you mind? I'll I'll give you something. Sure. Yeah. Thank all right. Thanks, man. I, I, I have a bad angle. You know about that, Ellis, right? Big lefty kind of guy. I had the worst dream last night, by the way, dude. About what? I got murdered, like, fucking stabbed, and I felt every single fucking... It was nuts. And by the way, that video you <laughs> took of me was hilarious. I know. When I woke up. It was so funny, bro. Because I was trying to get you out because Drewski hit us up to come to the Harlow party and shit. Yeah. I saw it was Drake, Harlow, and Drewski at the Derby, right? In that little box they had. Yeah. Probably one of my favorite events we've ever been to. Right? That was a great weekend, yeah. We How about had my- such a fun, cool weekend. Little bonding weekend. How much was the, the damage? What did you win? What did Buddy, you lose? Buddy, no raw gear on the full send pod, man. What the what fuck? Did you, uh, what did you... Stay at- <laughs> that, was, that was the deal for staying at Brad's house, eh? <laughs> what did, uh, what was your... Huh? Is there any merch here? You might have to go tarps off. No way, I'm not doing that. What was the damage for you uh, at the Derby? How much did you lose? Just 2500 Salim, what did you lose? I got hundred dollars. Salim owes me a grand though, but oh I yeah, lost, I, still got I lost. I lost I'm seven thousand. Huh? huh? Seven thousand. I lost. Wow. I wasn't happy. You lost but seven ha- grand. But the story of the day is my buddy Adam Weitzman bet the trifecta. Now imagine this. You know how we were doing like hundred, five hundred dollar bets. He did a bunch across the board. Five dollar trifecta. He won seventy eight thousand dollars. Holy shit! On a five dollar fucking trifecta. Good. Imagine betting five dollars and walking out with seventy five thousand. He bet five dollars. No, he did. Well, I mean, he bet a bunch of like because you bet the trifectas in all different ways, you know, and fucking whatever. But. I did not understand how to bet on the horses at all. No, like I, I just, was looking at the machines and shit. I, it's so foreign to me, like how to bet on horses. Yeah, well, it's because I gave all my money to Summer and she's fucking gives bet the worst shit ever. I was pissed, but you have a good weekend, Steiny. Yeah, it was fun. You were a little a little nervous though all weekend, no? Why about what? I don't know. You're just always. Everyone was vibing Erotic. in the backyard. Steiny would be out there. Then he goes in the depression <laughs> den for a bit. Yeah. He comes back out, gets rinsed in golf. Yeah. Goes back in. Yeah, you have to wear a yeah, skirt. He's saying good. he's getting pussy. Like, oh, yeah, I just fucked this girl last night. And I'm like, dude, you woke up in my attic upstairs. No, you were in my I room. I don't know how the fuck trip. you I got laid that trip. Room. What? I got laid that trip. Really? Yeah. It's funny you always get laid on these trips, <laughs> but yet nobody fucking, it's like Voldemort. Nobody fucking sees these people. <laughs> Slim's sorry. Pulled a Slim. It was dope. She was horrible. It wasn't that oh, bad, shit. dude. I can't uh, say uh, that anymore. Uh, huh? You guys gave me in so much trouble in this fucking podcast. Every time I get a DM after this shit, it ruins my life. <laughs> but yeah, I was sad in no, no, no. Kentucky for one horrible. day. I was just kidding. Wait, what happened? Huh? What happened? You guys just always talk about girl shit. And it's like Steve said I slept with like a big, thick chick. And she was like slim thick, like just bigger because she was she's not, hot. She was Do you understand who you're thick. talking to right now? Do you know I lived with you and worked with you with for a year? Things have I changed saw... since fucking Menory Camp, bro. Like, there's no Brett's not getting any pussy. I know that. Like, yeah, it oh doesn't come with no, it doesn't is, come with working with for no, Bob. Brett is just very selective with his pussy, unlike you, who would just fuck anybody. <laughs> but I feel like when you're single, you're always gonna run into some dirties. Yeah, like there's no matter who you are, even if you're like the biggest, best, good looking guy, like yeah. you're always gonna run into a, to an occasional six. I think that's just. I'm just giving him shit because he's not just the way it is. I fucked some of the most disgusting girls in the world. When you're single, you you fuck some hot chicks, but you also take down some some dirty. I lock up some Scottsdale greasers. I know you. Like when I was rock bottom, (laughs) which happens like every weekend. But when I was like rock bottom (laughs) in a real dark place, uh, when I was like shutting the blinds in my hotel room, not leaving for two days, and just ripping Adderall, (laughs) um, I you know invited over just. Anybody, nice. everyone has. But you always, news, you always get like three in one night. Too, you've had somehow. some smokes though, but yeah, you had, you had dirties. <laughs> I was kind of, dude. I didn't think there was the lineup. Like I thought there was gonna be way hotter girls at the derby. Yeah, you guys see that or no? No, there was. There were just like thirty five. Like, what did you think of that whole experience? It was. Amazing. I thought it was really cool. It was different, right? Yeah, I've never. Experienced I think if we like did that. Miami F one, it just would have been the same typical bullshit. Like fucking yeah, but Komodo everybody, to everybody live F one is pretty sick. Everybody went to F1. everyone went to F one. That's F1. probably why all those hot chicks went to F one instead of Kentucky Derby. Yeah, nah, but Kentucky it was fun. That was really fun. I, it was uh, different. I mean, yeah. we can go to. There's so much shit going on in Miami. We're always there. Mm-hmm. Probably got to stay out of there for a little while, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> when do you think you're ever gonna go back to Miami, Bob, or no? 
You go back to Miami? Are you going to take some time off? I mean, you guys have rattled my life and ruined it, to be honest with you. <laughs> How so? How so? How you let's guys have ruined my life? Yes. That's well, first of all, like as you that. all know, I suffer from severe anxiety and paranoia. It's something I was born with. I can't help. Uh, heavily medicated at this point. <laughs> and uh, when I sit down with my therapist, they're like, so Bob, tell us what's going on. I'm just like, the Nelk boys. That's basically it. Because I mean, between the Colby Covington and you saying fucking. So, so how is that? It just puts more thoughts. You in my head. you ruined the Colby Covington thing yourself. How? Because I okay, I was getting the same comments as you. We were both getting it. Like we were getting like snitch boys, Nelk boys set up Colby Covington. I just didn't respond to it because half the people were trolling. But you, you just the second you get something and you see comments, you're instantly on your story. Responding. You know why? Because I you got to take twenty four hours and see if like people are still talking about it in twenty four hours. I like to engage with each and every one of you out there because yeah. I care about you. Just remember that. I don't know if this is fucked up, but I like want to meet your therapist uh, just to see like what he thinks or she thinks. There's multiple, really, a couple of them. Yeah, I have two. Or do you them. ever do couples or is it just one on one couples therapy? Yeah, uh, we considered it because shit was getting real Whew. for a while plates through through the fucking glass windows and like. well i will tell you one thing like even last night you see the young thug got arrested so the street beef is real why do you get arrested for being Rico involved charges in, yeah i think gang violence gave violence to a murder i i read that the rental car that was used to drive up and kill somebody was under young thug's name like All right, he, this is just just this let's is just, real shit. This is what's going on in the world. I Bob. get it, but at the same time, why don't you just yeah, exactly just, what's going just, on. Why don't you just take it easy? All right. What do you? What would you rather talk about? I got we a don't lot. know. Summer's OnlyFans is uh, around the corner. Like, come on, man. <laughs> 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 Fucking talking about real shit, dude. All right, you do yours. I'll just stay quiet. <laughs> I would like to stay quiet during this. Okay, but I feel bad for our guy Justin Gaethje. Yeah, he got mauled. He got beat. Oh, sh- Who's that? Uh, I like Therapist keep, number five. I like to keep my uh, stuff low key. I'm like, fuck boy. Over here. Yeah, it was sad what happened to Gaethje though. Fuck. He got choked I, out by Oliveira? Yeah, Oliveira's the real out. deal. He is the real deal. Yeah, I guess so. What right? even happens with the UFC He's not now? the real deal but, until he sees Islam. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're already that's, talking about that. I think Khabib tweeted about that. Islam will beat him. I think so. Wrestling. When is McGregor coming Now, the back? question is, I wonder... So McGregor's, I think McGregor's trying to come back in like July, but he's still, I don't think he's quite healthy yet. Think, so he's got to, he's got to get fully healthy. And then I think they're monitoring it. That's what I heard Dana say. I think he's going to fight, fight though. He's probably going to fight Chandler. Chandler called him out. Do you see yeah. that? He got in the ring How after and Chandler. Fight Chandler, bro. Chandler lost to Gaethje. Like Chandler's that. of number four. But why does Connor deserve to fight a number two guy or number one guy? He just does. I think he's the, lost the, UFC, the UFC wants Connor to fight someone that is obviously going to be like, you know they're gonna sell it, but they also want him to win. Obviously, right? Like mm-hmm. they want Connor to get back to that. Oh, he should, fight, he should fight Islam. So Islam would fight him. I would love to that'd see Connor crazy. fight Islam eventually. That'd be insane. Can you imagine that? that, that could lead happen, up? right? Yeah, because that's Khabib's. Because yeah. Islam would fight anyone. Like you know what I mean? He's just trying to get his title. There's Bro, no, he's on like a ten fight win streak. No, he's nasty. There's no, there's no chance. Uh, McGregor could fight Oliveira. No, no, not way. right away. No but I'm the guy with the UFC fights. I love the whole lead up. Like I watch every interview, so I love when there's like yeah real beef yeah behind it. Like McGregor versus Islam, there'd be so much trash yeah. talking. Be the next, yeah, Khabib would be involved and shit. It'd be fucking. Dope. That's one thing I wanted to ask Gaethje, bro. Is like, what? How does somebody talk shit to Gaethje? He's such a cleaned up, like regular guy well they're trying to sell McGregor fight. McGregor went in on him Did you well, see what, what do you say to Twitter? I think what he just said? I think it comes with the territory McGregor you said to. that like fight you gotta you gotta sell it like, no but how yeah. do you diss Justin Gaethje how do you diss, I, I love Justin Justin's a good dude he's only church he's, he's but I'm dude. saying like he's harder to chirp than other guys like look at how like Poirier's wife is like well I guarantee if like he fought hoe. somebody like Covington or something they would probably find some stuff to bring out and fuck with him with I, but that's what I'm saying. Did you guys watch any of the press conferences? Like, yeah, like I Khabib every, when he talked. Well, he does. He doesn't talk shit really. Um, but like, that's what I'm saying. You with, need that shit with Khabib. Something. He was getting called a terrorist and shit, right? Well, McGregor versus Khabib had no limits. McGregor has no limits. He called Gaethje like a Steve O crackhead. What? He called, he's like something like that. Is Covington and McGregor in the same <laughs> weight class? No, right? No. Covington's a that those two be, those two going at it would be awesome. That would be the best trash talk of all time. Right. McGregor and Col- and Colby. Colby's Do you think we're good. getting a little too much UFC on this podcast though? Nah. You think I mean is it like a, it's a lot of UFC we're doing? 
You UFC said, sick. You go to every it's sick. Event. I know that I'm saying it's sick, but I'm just saying I want. I mean, how have we done too much UFC? What has Dana White done for? Uh, What's that? Nelk, bro. What is what? Who was our last uh, UFC fighter before? Well, we've had Usman. We've had Gaethje. Co- Covington. We've had Covington. That's a, that's a blessing, to, in my opinion. Of course, no, I loved every guest we had. I'm yeah. just saying that I, I don't know. Are we going to stay the UFC train? Because I wanted to talk to you guys about this is a good time because a lot of people that watch this podcast probably don't get to see the behind the scenes mm-hmm, yeah. of what goes into you know the guests and who we are trying to always get. And this, I think, you know, who's on your radar, Salim? Who would you want? Who am I going hunting for? <laughs> I would love to. This is probably a. How about fucking Rihanna? Why don't you DM her and sack up? Nah, because I don't know who. I don't know ASAP. I don't. I don't know, man. I would not. ASAP's not Rihanna. gonna get pissed. Like I don't uh-huh. think he's gonna look at you as a threat like that. No offense. But. Yeah. If anything, I'd do a video. He's not gonna be like pacing around the room like. Is hey, Menry's paranoia this, wearing off on you? Is my paranoia wearing off? Why are we smoking weed too? We can weed, weed, but weed. I think weed kills the views too. Oh, it does a little bit, but we could smoke. Well, Snoop Dogg just did 3.6 yeah, million. True. I got to fucking smoke. This is a great time. Be a There's a time. joint upstairs in my room if you want to go get it. Right. You want to go grab that for me? On the double? Who, who actually, who would you guys want actually? I mean, that's a I, good think, question. I think that like. Comment, comment guys. Who do you guys want us to go after on the podcast? That, that's what we need to do. We I, always like doing these internal ones. So it's cool to take it back and we'll talk about a bunch of behind the scenes shit today. But Well, because that's know. the internals are what goes on behind the scenes here. You know, I want to do. We gotta I would be, love to interview I mean, Drake. I would yeah. love to know a lot about him. We've done a lot of rappers. We I think that athletes. Drake, I mean, Drake doesn't UFC. really do interviews, though. No, right? he doesn't. Drake does Some, interviews. I hate, no, he doesn't he do. He follows you. You he guys should do, be what, hammering. Where has he gone on? He, I've seen him on clips doing talking. And it's, it, listen, you, you know, he's, he's done very few interviews. Well, recently. how do we convince him to do an interview? He'll do an interview probably when he's ready to speak about shit. And, and he'll consider many different places to go. And maybe he'll consider the, the thing about Wilson Drake podcast though, is, is one. Is like, bro, that guy. That guy's at a different level where he doesn't need to go on shows to promote his stuff. No, he well, doesn't. that's why you that's go I mean. with a different it's angle. It's not cool to do interviews when you're at that level. Yeah. Well, it's cool when you're on the fucking full send podcast. I hate to say it. Maybe. We have a great show. I you mean, obviously, gr- we'd love to have Drake. Um, that's you, Kyle. I've asked him. Okay. No response from Drake. No, he's. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Come on, Drake. Uh, Kanye will get him eventually. Hopefully, I have. Oh, a- wait. What about like uh, Johnny Depp or Amber Heard? They got their trial going on. Do you guys watch that shit? <laughs> Do you know who represent? <laughs> oh, I love watching those clips. Wiggum was on trial. It's him. almost hard to watch. So she's lying it's about. It's just such a shit show. I'm siding with Amber. The what? Hell? Uh, Are you out of your kidding. mind? <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Who's that guy that's siding with Amber? Probably me. Like chicks would probably appreciate that, but. Uh, <laughs> no, like, but wh- it seems like everyone's siding with Johnny Depp. Like it's not. It's crazy that shit's just so public, bro. Like sh- they're like openly talking about like domestic violence and shit, and well, everybody's just I, on TikTok I, scrolling through, and Johnny Depp's like laughing, making jokes. It's like, literally it's, like pure entertainment at this. But he also is like the best professional actor on the planet too. Like yeah, like how the fuck is that? That guy's gonna win just with his acting skills. What jury is gonna not? Believe? What is your dad's t- opinion on it? I haven't talked to him about it. We just do talk- you guys watch Pirates of the Caribbean? Fuck yeah, I nah. watch them all. I'm more of a I'm more of a Harry Harry Potter guy than Pirates of, of the Caribbean. Oh man, I'm not comparable. I just didn't really watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Harry Potter's the best series of all time. Is Harry Potter really that good? I don't really yeah. know too much. Harry about Potter's it. Dope. We, the best. I want to get J.K. Rowling. That'd be fucking legendary. Or Harry himself. <laughs> Imagine having Harry Potter. Yeah, he's not really Harry him. anymore. And if he yeah, if he Dude, fucking I heard, really I heard Harry he had anymore, a, that'd be jokes. <laughs> no, I heard we got Harry Potter. It's a, but he has to come dressed up as fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, of course. We probably would all dress up. No, the difference between getting Daniel Radcliffe and Harry Potter. Yeah, is I don't want to fucking. I don't want. Daniel we could Radcliffe. dress up. Yeah, we. I would love to dress up. <laughs> Absolutely. What house do you think you'd be in? Uh, I would be in fucking the uh, Gryffindor because I'm a good, solid person. You'd be in Stiney fucking Slytherin. You'd be the biggest you're, pussy you'd be in, wizard ever. You'd be in. Uh, you'd be in yeah, slimy be Slytherin. Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You'd be in immediately before they even put the fucking hat on your head to sort you. Slytherin. Be, the thing would be fucking catching on fire and be like fucking. <laughs> Ryan Pettigrew, I'd be Ryan Pettigrew, Zirat. Zirat, Zirat. Yeah, so, Ratcliffe would be dope. Let's have Ray J on. Ray J would be actually I want to know a lot about, I want to know, I want to know what's going on. Yeah, with did you see that clip about the sex <laughs> tape? <laughs> Wait, did you see the sex tape thing? Huh? Kanye like delivered a suitcase. Yeah, I want to know what his mind is shit? like with this. That's what I would ask Kanye if we had Kanye like, damn, why'd you marry a hoe? That's what I would ask. <laughs> <laughs> How many sex tapes? <laughs> she's the fucking dude. She's the most famous woman in the world. You'd marry Kim. Who? K. Kim Kardashian? Oh, the fuck yeah. I would. Yes, you Don't would. talk Nobody about Kim that way. A hoe. She's the most famous girl in the world. We may need her on the Nobody show. Nobody would one day. take 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 a hoe seriously. I don't, I don't think it a probably, lot of men would do that. It probably helped his business. Kim K would finesse your ass if she said, "Should not leave." I love you. No way. How do you no not 
take up Kim K. Because Steiny, you don't have options. That's the thing about you. So I have you options, dude. You're the, Kim K is the m- most famous, fucks, one of the hardest women bitches. in the world. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. I would take. Not all of them I are would take, sevens or eights, but yeah. I would take, bro. They're there. Kim, man. No. Fuck, I got to get a good one soon. We should have Ray J and Kanye on together. <laughs> that would not happen. Imagine that happened. Would you ever, <laughs> would you, we talked about, uh, I, have you ever made a sex tape, any of you guys? No, why would we Dude, do that? you haven't made a sex tape either. And if you did, Yo, we it's, the yeah, shortest, yeah. it's the we shortest. We got to cut that whole part. Pop, I feel pop. like the second you, <laughs> I, I've filmed some shit, but then I, I delete it. Out. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, you, yeah, yeah. So you do. You film a little bit. Like if like, you know. I don't like it sitting on my phone and shit. Because you know, if it's on your phone, it's out there on the internet. Oh yeah, mine's, well, mine. I have, what do you mean? I, I've you never mean? deleted anything in my life. Bob's I sex- mean, it's so easy to get hacked and shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. I Bob's, think if you if it's on your phone, then you might as well consider it on the internet one day. Oh well, then I'm fucked because yeah. I haven't deleted anything what, in fucking your years. Your sex tape's like a fight, and then like a thirty second like have, you have a most sex boring tape? sex tape in the world. Like no one's buying that. No, like the I've chicks done, like Bob get out unsatisfied. It'd probably make you look bad. Yeah, no, I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll occasionally like if I'm really like you know obviously dating a chick. You know, sometimes you gotta spice it up a little bit, and I'll be like, oh yeah. If you did a role play sex girls, tape, it would girls, go viral. girls like it though. Yeah, yeah, and you then should, you do, but you got you're right. You do delete it after. He should do a sex tape. Watch it back a few times. Watch it back for a couple jerks. Delete and then make a new one. You know. Yeah, you should do a role play of like you in the booth, like commentating a game or something. Oh, I'm a massive role play guy. Yeah. Yeah, massive. The dress up stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, that like secretary shit. That's hot. So if like some. What you're the president? What you've been doing role play shit? Uh, no, I haven't been, but I was suggested. Like it's like with Summer because she's like really hot, and (laughs) it would be sick for her to just come in and be Summer. "Uh, Sorry, I'm late. So did you suggest it or no? Oh yeah, I push it all the time. Doesn't go down though. No, nah, she's gonna she's gonna rock with it soon. You text Brett. You tell him you need a George Washington outfit. Brett, have, Brett, remember when I told you I told you to go out and get the outfit for the girl? <laughs> what was it? Like yeah. a fairy fit? No, nah, it was like this, like little secretary outfit. The witch. Oh, for summer you're doing a sex tape. Like, summer shiki. You're late, baby. You're late. <laughs> you know. Hey, you're doing a, a sex Bro, tape. This guy. We, we I'll took, do a we, fucking sex tape. I don't took, give a fuck. We took a private jet. To the Kentucky Derby. Thank you, Bob, for the free jet, by the way. Or yeah, whoever it's got so Bob, how'd you appreciate you? that? But Bob was so funny on the jet, bro. Like you, Bob's scared of flying, I guess. So you got not, really. You not, are. Well, you, I am not scared of flying. Go ahead. You're scared Kyle. of flying on smaller planes. You bailed off a few PJs. You're so whatever. Bob was scared of the flight, so he got super fucked up. You were on what? You took a Xanax. No, what I well first of all two I bottles to, of Chardonnay. Uh, first of all, I then this to, guy pulls out a blue chew. Like, oh, dude. If you guys don't know what Blue Chew is, it's like it makes your like dick hard like fast. It's kind of like a shitty Viagra. And Bob just randomly pops a Blue Chew on the jet and starts fucking well, the air. I'm not afraid of flying. When I, He's first, like, summer girl, come in the bathroom. I mean, kind of sounds like you're afraid of flying. No, I'm sure gonna, you have to I'm take gonna, to I'm going to break cold. down. <laughs> I'm going to break down everything you just said real quickly. So the I have walked on a private plane before, looked around inside the plane and said, fuck this multiple times and just got off and just left. The reason why I do that is because I feel that sometimes, like, if I don't know the people, that the plane's going to be packed with explosives, and, like, they're just going to try and kill me. Wow. And, like, certain people. Jesus, dude. That's serious paranoia. I know. That's why I talk to my therapist about shit. Like, who would have the... Who would be But I'm the getting better at, like, not thinking that way. And then like, also, I'm thinking, like, you know, I'm thinking, like, That is plane. severe paranoia. That's fucking weird, bro. Like, you're on the plane with oh, I was Kyle a, and Oscar. I was at a point where I was, like, parent... Like, I would look out the window when I was in, like, Jersey... Staying with Summer and her family, like be like, what's that car? Who's that car out there? Why? I don't know. Who do you I, think's after you? But nobody's okay, after I think, me. Nobody's after me. You know what you should do next time you think of something that crazy? Like there's bombs on this plane. You should just get on the flight and just prove yourself. I, that's what well, that's what I do. But at the same time, just be like, yo, there's like, no, I take this new medication now. That's good. I'm good. And the best is like I'm talking to my psychiatrist on the phone, and I'm like, yo, like something's fucked up. Tell him what's going on, and then I'm like. Just talk to Brett like for an hour. And I was like, Brett, tell this guy everything that is going through my like, <laughs> head. And then, yeah. So I'm good, though. Like, and then I put yeah, on, I but on the plane. Like I'm just high now. Shit. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is fucking pretty wild, bro. Yeah. You no, and then, be, you should be feel safe to go to Starbucks and shit and not worry. about. But it. even so, there was times in my head where I didn't feel safe to go to Starbucks. It was weird. I don't know why. Like, I, I have, no have you always been like that? No, it's gotten worse, obviously, with the fame, shit, and the, everything, all this. So I just don't like like that much. Like I get anxiety when there's a lot of like. But but we're we're not really like like we're not like that either. Like we go out when we need to go out and do shit, but we're not. You know, yeah. We live pretty quiet here too when we're chilling, right? It is pretty crazy to say that we've come <laughs> to the point though that like everywhere we go, 
people know who we are. It's nuts. We've achieved that amount of fame, which is like pretty sick. That's it's pretty a pretty good accomplishment. I mean, Steiny, not really you, but you know, the three of oh, us. Even even okay. everyone, man. Even Steiny and Shake. Yeah, you must everyone. actually now because when you worked for me, you got no attention. Well, that's. I, I mean, it could go because of you, bro. Not just my fault. It comes with full send and milk, bro. No, but I'm saying we weren't you... very famous like a month or two ago when this podcast started. Oh. Like six months. Everyone's like, who's the fuck Seven this months. Bob guy in the podcast? No, no, no. It's actually, <laughs> you know, it's funny, actually. But, you you were know, the chicken wing guy before. I was the Buffalo uh... Wild. Yeah, yeah. Sensitive uh-huh. subject. I fucking Sorry, hate my that fault. place. No, no, no I don't again. like that place either. Fuck I'll tell else. you what. It is crazy, though. Everywhere we go, pretty much. It's it's nonstop. It's, it's pretty. Even Derby, right? It's just like. I mean, it's fuck. not even Derby. It's like, I just know if, you, if I walk from like, I. You think more like you. But what do you think it is? Because Nelk and let's say Steve, whatever, let's use Nelk Boys. Like Nelk Boys only has four point something on Instagram. Three. Like some people have like. Our faces are recognizable because there's some so many- people have 10, 20, 15 million, but they can't convert the same way well, when it comes to like business or even getting recognized. Yeah, but we also have the I'll biggest. But we, we have the biggest show in the world, Kyle, on YouTube. It's not only that. You look at one previous of the things that get clipped world. everywhere. Going on Air Force One with Donald Trump, like that was fucking clipped everywhere, bro. So we've been everyone's smart like, at hitting all these? different. We've been smart at hitting all different markets. But you know who I would actually just want to talk about bringing on? Fucking Morgan Wallen, by the way. Very disappointed, Morgan. I love Morgan. Death. I will call out Morgan Wallen right now. Morgan, you're a dear friend of mine. What the fuck are you doing, and why the fuck haven't you been in this podcast? It drives me nuts. I think what full sign and but I love him. Really good at. I think he's scared to come on with you. He shouldn't be. This is a safe place. <laughs> he is, though. <laughs> Yo, did anybody just see that uh, that personal bit? <laughs> what were you going to say? I don't know. So you're talking about fame conversion? and shit. Nelk oh, conversion. I think that uh, Nelk and Full Sun's is really, really good at building the hype. Not even the hype. Just we're just making so everywhere. much noise everywhere they go. So people like, it just goes viral. Like, no one else like pulls up kind of like the way we do, I feel like. You must be Salim, too. How old are you? 20. So for you, you're like, think about that. You're 20 years old and you've already achieved all this success and craziness. It's pretty good. Good job, Kyle. Good job, everybody. This suite is pretty powerful. What is it? It's Mike Tyson. You scroll well, down a little bit. bit of Tyson a DMT. 2.0, baby. No, DMT in dude, it. You got to tell me that before. No, it's not DMT. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. Fine. No, it's not. It's regular Tyson shit. <laughs> Steiny, your boy Jokic won back to back. I know. I fucking love that shit. He Jimmy Gambles. It. That's Jimmy. Yeah, Jokic. for real. You don't watch anything but hockey, right? Um, you ever tried to like watch NBA or NFL? I watch and I I watch NBA. I'm just not like super into it. Yo, yeah. I'm, by, by the way, I'm gonna need all your support. My girl is uh, gonna drop an OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Where's make sure you do it. I mean, listen, and I respect my girl, and I uh, I respect everybody on OnlyFans. I swear you've been talking about that for a while, though. Yeah, it's like a tornado you know, thing. We we've been just you know because it's a long discussion. I'm how just many like, how many times has the contracts and splits been back and forth? No, it's a fifty fifty partnership. She gets half, I get half. That's, that's life. <laughs> that's it. Really? Are you yeah. taking the photos? Who's taking the photos? Are you gonna fucking fight? I don't the know, but I will heavily vet who's taking those photos. <laughs> by the way. Heavily vet. There's gonna be a. We lot got a few guys of- who would be down. <laughs> I'm gonna like call the photographer after and be like, "Hey, buddy, how you doing? So anything, uh, fucking anything going on down there? Huh? Anything going on down there during that fucking? I think photo you need shoot? to be on because site. Guess what? You want to know the people that I know? They'll have a fucking air drone come in here and fucking shoot a laser beam through your head. You need and to be at the photo shoots. You. Huh? you should be at the photo shoots directing. I'll be at every single photo shoot. Trust me. <laughs> so is that actually going down? Because you've been talking about that for months. Yeah, yeah. I mean, summer's gonna. She lost a bet. <laughs> so we made a bet on a basketball game. I get it, but like. Yeah, is it happening? If, if I won, she I I I couldn't uh, film her for a month. And if she won, or if I won, if she won, I couldn't film her for a month. If I won, <laughs> fucking, I couldn't film her for a month. She <laughs> drops an OnlyFans, and I get fifty percent of the profit. Free subs for everybody in the room. And it's kind of like hot too. Like it's gonna be hot to know like she just dropped a sick photo shoot, and then like. I wanted to be naked in the distance in every photo. <laughs> and I also like wanted to tie her to the podcast and like have her do a drop with every guest. Interesting. With every single guest. Like Snoop Dogg comes on, like Summer's just ready to go. And then it's like Snoop walks by. It's like quick pegs. It's and then it's like exclusive shit. What I'm going to need your help with that. What if he's not down though? But you don't even ask him. 
Like it's just like we don't even ask them. That's how we get them. Like nice. our guests will come on. Really and good at summer keeping, we'll just, yeah. keeping these relationships with yeah. these podcasts. No, no I, listen. Everybody Smart. that knows me, there's a reason why I have very, very uh, high connections talk. everywhere. Is because I am a good dude. I don't ever try. But, and but you it. burned a lot of bridges though. Too. I burned a lot of bridges because I call people 55 what's, times on Facetime. What's in the, the biggest night. bridge I, you burned? <laughs> biggest bridge I burned was probably Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wal- Mark Wahlberg. Well, so we had Mark Wahlberg. He was in for the podcast. Our good friend Ty Domi. Mm-hmm. You know, putting a good word. Me and Ty are great friends. Love that guy. Mm-hmm. Mark was coming out with a new movie. Wanted to have Mark Wahlberg on. Absolute legend. And then Bob, like, fucked it up with it, some guy at Mark Wahlberg's golf course. He got into yeah. a fight and got one of his friends fired from what? his job. Didn't get one of my and friends. And then he absolutely harassed Mark Wahlberg over text right. and call and just totally ruined the relationship with Mark Wahlberg for us. The defense does not rest, Your Honor. <laughs> Why'd you do that? The defense does not rest. Okay, well, Kyle, Mark by Wahlberg's the way, first awesome. and foremost, that was a horrible, Two horrible sides to every story. That, that's what happened. That was a horrible description. All right, but, uh, you tell we it. always know that you like to take things and make them a little Let, bit let's bigger. He, let's hear your story. So, uh, Your Honor, I am ready to speak. Go for it. Uh, I worked as a golf caddy six years ago, okay, carrying golf bags for rich guys. And uh, I worked in a caddy yard, and there was a caddy master. His name was Pete, and Pete was a great caddy master. He was the man. But we just had our differences on certain things. And so... Such as? I was just like, you know me. Picture Mennery in a caddy yard, like negotiating with a caddy. He was probably working, and you were fucking the dog. (laughs) Fucking the dog? Yeah, like fucking off. Oh, no. I was the (laughs) hardest working guy in the world. I was there at 5 a.m. every day and like always looked to go twice like and whatnot. But yeah, no, we got an altercation, which led to him being like... Not fired, but just moved to a different position. And uh, Mark was a close friend of his at the time. And in the caddy yard world, which is a very tight community and a golf course, private country club, there's like a connection between caddies and whatever. And there was a lot of drama. So I got a bad kind of rep for it. But at the end of the day, Wilshire Country Club was one. Of, I'm the caddying days. Dude, what happened with Wahlberg? Oh, what happened with Wahlberg was basically I met Mark at UFC. And I was like, yo, it's good. We had a great conversation about coming on the show. Everything was great. And Tyson was there. So it was up. They were sitting there, made a little video, like whatever. And we had no problem, but he didn't know who I was. He didn't know I was that guy that had that situation happen with my caddy master six years ago. That was the smallest issue. That is funny how it somehow led to kind of a. Dude, but I don't I have, have no idea what the head. fuck your answer is. Like, how, what happened? Nothing happened. Nothing at all happened. Like, it was just like, he was like, oh, yeah. I'm, Probably not gonna go on the show because. But then he said, "Why is this guy fucking spamming me and calling me?" Because yet? that's who I am. But 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 once you gave me the message that Wahlberg didn't fuck with me, because and I respect Mark. Then you text him back and you're like very disappointed. <laughs> no, I didn't say very disappointed. I thought you showed me that. No, no, I I was just basically like, I'm gonna read my last text to Wahlberg. Sure. I mean, the whole entire thread is pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> we should almost, we should almost pop up the thread. All right, here's yeah. uh, I'll pop up the thread all day. Okay, here we go. Screen record. Screen record. All right, so by the way, here we go. And by the way, I love Mark Wahlberg. He's from Boston. He's one of my favorites. I don't blame him, though, because it's showing like loyalty to a guy, no matter big or small, like you know, working at Caddy Master. He's showing he was- loyalty to him. So he's not going to do our show because of that, which is fine. What did he say? Uh, well, I'll read you the text. He must have really pissed off Pete. I said, bro. Wahlberg, Mennery, what's goody? He said, hey, what's up, buddy? I'm out on the golf course today. Good seeing you. I said, my guy. I said, you want to shoot a pod this week at Wahlburgers, sit down, drink your tequila, shoot the shit, and have a good discussion. He said, I'm crazy busy until sometime in February. We're closed to a restaurant, moving to Hollywood Boulevard, but that could be cool because we go down and do the Morongo, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And I said, what's your handicap? I'll light you up. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? But cool, always down for sooner, though, whatever works for you. He said, okay, let you know. I said, word, I'll stay on you, too. He goes, I keep my handicap, whatever. And then I sent a video. I posted a video. There's a video of me, Tyson, and Mark at the uh, fight. Sorry, I'm talking a lot, but I want to defend this. <laughs> Mark and Tyson was a great night. Mark and I had a wonderful time. Maybe he was just Tyson, that maybe was funny. Bro, maybe, that was an underrated you're video. Like, I'm sick of no, you. No, it's hilarious. You every day. Bro, and so listen. So this is, I want to finish this because, Kyle, you're going to bash me like this. I want to finish this conversation. Go. Then I kind of, yeah, <laughs> yeah kind here of we go. Let's get to it. What would you say? Don't uh, skip shit, too. I know you're trying to skip Okay, shit. no. Then I just sent him randomly, I guess, the video with Khabib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I sent him the video of Khabib because I wanted to get Khabib and Jordan together. And Mark has a good relationship with Jordan. So I said, make this happen. I want my sheep. 
Any idea when you want to hop on dates in February? And this, by the way, a hardworking guy working for this fucking show. I don't show, think that's the way. best approach. He goes, I'm waiting for the schedule from the studio. I don't have my updates yet. I go, awesome. Let me know. We ready and standing by. Then a few days later, want to sit down this week with us and the boys? Let me know. Sorry to pester. We need our best and guy. Uh-huh. I'm working all week. Maybe after 18th of February when the movie comes out, love to come on. I said KK. And this is where I found out that you told me that we had a problem and that Mark doesn't want to do anything, which is fine. I don't think I had told you that. Though. No, you told me that in a pl- polite way. Somebody did, I mean, it was needed to be said. It was like, hey, Mark, like you saved me from looking like an idiot. Like right. I didn't want to fucking keep spamming this guy when, so it was good. Anyways, this is where I was cut off. So this is when I guess Mark Wahlberg decided not to associate with me. I said, word, I'll circle back then. Happy February 18th. Anyway, Monday for an hour, you want to go to whatever? My brother, this is just spam text, nonstop. My brother, this will be one of the final texts because I feel like I should be on Dateline NBC after all these texts. Aww. LOL. I know you're Wahlberg and you're busy as fuck, but you really think we could sit down for an hour before the end of the month. 100% transparency. Just a Boston kid hustling. Again, I deal with a lot of high profile dudes a lot, so I get it. Always a fan. You're a good man. Love and respect Bob Mennery. Oh, my God. Boom. Two more is later is later. No response. <laughs> Want to do a show this week? Let me know. It's Mennery. <laughs> Boom. Next day. Mark, congrats on the movie. Walk. Excuse me. This is no. This is then th- two weeks later. <laughs> you did not know at this point. I didn't know at this point. You actually. You're right. Okay, wait, what did you say? Two weeks later. And by the way, this is no more responses from Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Mark, congrats on the movie. Want to come on the show and promote it? <laughs> We can come to you in and LA. This is him not answering Snoop at all. Snoop Dogg tomorrow. Not answering at all. Just he never blocked you? Uh, no, he made it. Should I call Wahlberg right now? <laughs> yeah, call him. Call him. All right, hold on. But can make time <laughs> if you want. Full send podcast. <laughs> and I said, this is my final text to Mark Wahlberg at 7.04 a.m. You ready? My bad. I spoke to the uh, boys about not wanting to do our show. No, is- no issues. Happy Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter. Call him. Try, I mean, I mean the bridge is I, I don't give a fuck. Like, Mark, you know, I got along great. If he wants to use that little thing that happened, whatever. Call him, call him. Call I'm just kind of, I hate, like, I have. Call Mark. I don't like having ever bad blow with people. Call Mark. I don't have bad blow with Mark. I love Mark. No, it's whatever. Just probably Mark Wahlberg is so you know what? Legend, I am due bro. to call Wahlberg. Should I FaceTime him? Or call yeah, him? FaceTime him. Maybe he'll answer. I like, would on try accident. calling. Yeah, no one answers. You FaceTime. know, because at the end of the day, I never believe I, I give up. So I think call him, could, call him. Don't FaceTime him. Don't answer like, FaceTime you're harassing. Time. You know why he's not here? Because you stopped texting him. Yeah, he's exactly right. It's actually true. <laughs> fucking gave up, bro. You know what? That's the fucking motivation <laughs> I needed. So here we go. Should I leave a voicemail? Yeah, you have to. Right, he doesn't cool. check his voicemail. No, but yeah. you should leave it. Oh my god. Not in 2009. Yeah. You know, this I is call kind it? of a dick move. This is out of respect. I shouldn't do this. He already fucking. It's already you know, done. What's done is done. Go. It's funny. Mark. Fuck. It's like, we're sorry. Your call cannot be completed this dial. I'm blocked totally. Oh, there's no service in the house. Uh, call FaceTime. Oh, you don't have Wi-Fi? I don't have Wi-Fi. At the, I love Mark Wahlberg, though. He's, he's Dude, Mark is my favorite, one of my favorite but actors of all time. at the end of the day, I feel we bad. don't need if anyone on this show. I mean... I don't think you should be fucking up relationships, but I, by the way, at I, the end, like at the end of the can, day, we don't. If someone doesn't want to come Kyle, on, that's Kyle. That's it is their impossible loss. at the level we're fuck. at to have every perfect relationship. It's impossible. So you're gonna lose. Some I also people. think when you zing them one too no, many times, that's always been my plan. I will continue to zing them. I don't give a fuck. I think that people see it differently. I think there's people that see it like funny, like Dude, Yo, this guy's insane. Guy. Some, some the... people think it's weird though. Yeah, that you just meet. You probably shouldn't go too hard. Oh, can I get one of those? Guess what? I I, I will bring them value. I, will I know, but. So, all right, yeah, I give up after a while. Like, I, gave, I, I happy Eastered Mark Wahlberg, and I ended our thing. I respect it. You're not going to have everybody on your fucking side at this level. You're going to have bridges. What about you, bro? You ever burned a bridge? Mm. I feel like you do a pretty Sorry, good job with your relationships. I'm passionate about certain things. Go ahead, Kyle. I don't know. I'm trying to think. You get along with everybody. I'm trying to think. No one really. By the way, it's, dude... This is being blown out of proportion. We have no bad blood with anybody. We really don't. No, we're, but we're respectful you- fucking dudes that are hungry and want to fucking make it in life. How that, can nobody not respect that? I think it's good with Bob because there's like the calm side, like when it comes to the business shit. So like, there's always something to fall back on. Yeah, you know, like, we a- we, like when you fuck up, like we can always be like, 
That's Bob. It's called. Uh, and we, as much as you it's think, call what you and John Shahidi do to me all the time. Good cop, bad cop. It's as, I get no. It. It's as much as you. Th- <laughs> it's as much as you think that like you're fucking He's our shit Bob. up. Sometimes we got to step back and tell people like, yo, that's. That's, that's Bob. all about which that's is fine. Bob you should, Mary, bro. Dude, that would be my answer with everything because I'd be like, yeah, dude, Bob's fucking nuts, but he gets shit done. Yeah, I agree. You know, you wouldn't be you without that. No. Yeah. And, I, and I like, yeah, you always try to make improvements on like, yeah, but like I will never stop. I actually have stopped FaceTiming Dana. Dude, you he, I've seen him. <laughs> I used to hammer. There was a fucking four week stage where I that's hammered so Dana savage 600 times. I uh, fuck with him and just being like, what's good? Like I we saw did. You, I but saw Dana's you. the he's the man. He always picks up. He's a great dude. <laughs> And we always talk, <laughs> but I did invite him to my wedding. That's gonna maybe come no, up. No, I so. saw you uh, Facetime Scooter Braun like thirty-five times. Oh in, yeah, let's in do it right hour. now again. Let's have. Let's just make some. It's good for like we can edit. But I think they think but it's I funny. Think if, we, if we also Facetime a bunch of high-profile celebrities, it's good for the show. Yeah, yeah. Without a guest, like yeah, let's yeah. bring guests on the show right now. Who are we working on that we could Facetime right now? I got everybody right now. I'm gonna move. You don't. Who do you have? Everybody, you say that all the time, but then you have a conversation first before I go gung ho menary psycho mode again. Um, What about you? You working on it? It'll be a peaceful one. Just yeah, we got something big coming up. Really? So it's not going to be a scary one. I've I've landed the last few guests we've gotten, bro. I'm going to go ape shit on guests. Just pick up the phone with John and let's talk. It'll be good. We have some good stuff. I got I got Kodak. I got Dirk. I got Covington. I got Ross. I got Caitlyn Jenner. I got Gaethje. You know what I, uh, you know, when Picasso <laughs> paid. Bob got Portnoy, which is. Portnoy? You could have got Portnoy. Anyone could have got Portnoy. And the last one you got was Candace Owens. Let me uh, just uh, tell you something, Kyle. There's, you started uh, off hot, though. You know when there's a blank canvas, right? You know when there's a blank canvas when you're painting? Why do you and, think we uh, And how down? important that first stroke of the brush is? No, you killed it. So in the beginning, what I did was the Godfather came in. He brought on the right people to start this show up. And then you guys got 100%. a little bit going. Shaq. Shaq, Shaq was, was and what did I say with Shaq? Shaq is very brand friendly. Shaq was huge. He's very likable. He's a very whatever. Shaq was huge. It gave us what? Donald Trump Jr. and Robert O'Neill was big too. Yeah. It was great. It was a, it was really a great game. interview. And then, uh, yeah, we've been guiding this shit pretty good. And and we're gonna get back to savage mode with like we're I'm gonna, gonna get NBA. NBA but here's the deal. Listen, John and has actually, John you know has a massive guest for us. And let me why tell you what, tell actually, me? yo, you know why I haven't been as like hungry with the guests lately? I'll tell you is this. <laughs> Is because I have slowed down on that savage thirty-five FaceTime mode lately, so I got to go back to just hammering everybody. Yeah, like, but you guys talked me off the ledge, like Bob, maybe slow down. And I'm like, all right, look what no, happens. But maybe look, don't, look what happens when I slow down. You know, maybe not ten messages in a row. Don't, give them time listen, between. Kid, you'd be dealing fucking poker <laughs> at the fucking Ringo Casino if you hadn't met. So he's always just vanishes. Eh? He's just on the phone out there. Yeah, he's bounces. It's the best. <laughs> Salim's kind of just out there. I do love this group, though. I have so much fun with you guys. I was telling someone out there that I'm like, this group is... No, yeah, I think that was our first trip with us. Kentucky. We got to do more trips like that. I would love to. Those trips are crazy as fuck. We got to do more. Any interest in getting involved in the NASCAR space in a big way? Yes. Cool. I love that. I think you would be... our. I think we could build the fucking Happy Dad Mobile oh, and yeah. get like a sick-ass driver and like really compete well, in NASCAR because you need money to compete in NASCAR and I think that with like... And then tie to our, the NFT. Like figure a way that, you know... Those all the holders can be involved in that at operation. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. When's when's the NASCAR thing? NASCAR thing. So with NASCAR, I just take these little cars. I kind of like. But suck. when's the one you're promoting? I have five races, six races coming up. I'll be I'll be in the rest of the year. Every year, I'll have a car in every race. So, Damn. How yes. do we go about getting like a winning car? We should I, also uh, buy a horse. I, I can By handle the way, it. I, I, I know that in, introduce Bob to NASCAR. No, no, no I, I, I really think you know why. You know, I think NASCAR is a really big audience. It's well, we have massive. so many fans, there, and now like, we have the country shit we love. NASCAR country NASCAR go well events together. are fun as fuck to go. To, I've never bro. been. I Dude, go I'm gonna, far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you with this banger. NASCAR experience. And I, I think it's something that actually we think of soon to do, and it's not that hard to do. The only thing is, if you really want to compete and win, you got to spend a lot of money. What's the business like of it? As far as what? Like, how does it work? How does it my work? I just mine's on a small scale. I, I mean, you would have to help me scale it up bigger. Well, like, what you, would you we buy want? the car and then I, you uh, sell the ads I, I, on the car? I, 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 listen, no, relax. I don't want. We're not going to talk like that. I don't that's want to be fucking. You do no, it. I don't want anybody knowing that. I do. That's how fucking, every fucking guy. Does I got it. it, but I don't want more people to know it because it'll kill the market. And it'll go. <laughs> I introduced you to the market. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Actually, you did have. You did actually. You did yeah, I did. It. You did make that connection a little bit. No, the whole bit. Yeah, and guess what? The connection was not. Don't don't. Bob, big bonus coming. I'm still waiting on that. Well, you ain't getting it because you haven't earned it yet. Yeah. Take off that chain. Maybe we'll give it to you. No, never. 
But um, yeah, dude, happy happy Dead Mobile. Let's go. Uh, there's a race coming up in Nashville. Yeah, be that's fucking, fucking huge. So if what if we launched a full and you guys can do all happy dad, you know, do it. But let's launch it. Let's launch it. But the problem is we can't compete. I can get you in the main race against Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace. If you want to race, we also I, need, I was in. You need a dope driver too, like a on brand driver. Bro, my last. Well, there'd be a lot that would want to race for us. Because there's some kids now. There's like 19 and 20 year olds that dominate the sport. That's another guy who's really pissed at me, Denny Hamlin. <laughs> Why? Denny Hamlin and I are. He's pissed at me because like I was doing. Denny I, I got a, a car man. in the main race, the biggest race of the year, where all the money's in the line. I got a car, and my car is the shittiest car with like a Fisher Price fucking engine in it that couldn't win, but it somehow stayed in the race the whole entire time. Denny Hamlin, I was fucking with all week, being like, we're going to fuck you up. You have no chance. Like, obviously, he's the best in the world. I love Denny. And at, at the end of the day, to get to my story, my car exploded with three <laughs> laps left and knocked Denny Hamlin. They had to bring out the caution flag. I fucked Denny Hamlin out of like $10 million oh in the God. championship. He would have won that race. If the Ripper Mobiles tired and fucking explode on the third lap with three laps to go. And it wow. was kind of like, do you know, do you know, have you ever seen Denny? No, nah. bro. He's the biggest bro, like sponsored he's by the Jordan, man, the bro. fucking coolest dude. The, Denny Hamlin is the fucking man, but he Did was he so cool about it. Yeah, I could read that conversation, too. It's, it's pretty, not your fault, but it is funny. You're linked to it. Yeah, no, he, that's why he was like respectful of it. But I really fucked Denny Hamlin over. So uh, in the text thread, I, I mean, my text threads are very interesting because I was talking so much shit that week about how I'm going to fucking ruin his chances of winning. and like. It actually happened. That's crazy. I'm down for the NASCAR shit. It's really let's, fun. Let's do it. Let's do it on Nashville. I'm going to set this up. <laughs> what else is good this year? What, what else is coming up, like, trips-wise? Ho- I'm hoping uh, we can go to Canada. Yeah. I mean, like, what, for the, our schedule? Dude, NASCAR tour. Do you have your passport? No, I got to expedite. I get that done. I get that done. Brett, no. Really no, need I, to get that done. I've told, I've, we have talked I'll about that. I'll take you down for a little Canada rip. Uh, I want to. I'm supposed to be going to Toronto June 4th. For what? Uh, I just got a thing I'm doing. What are you doing? Rat's always asking questions. Huh? What are you doing? I I don't discuss my business. Is it like why can't we know? Uh, I just can't discuss the business. Okay, it's not allowed. I don't believe in the uh, ever discussing business unless you're in business with somebody. So, so you'll post it. So all you're going over. for like a meeting or something. Yeah, you do post it all over your story though. You know, uh, the Ukraine president. I gotta go meet Zelensky about <laughs> something. We talk about something. Nice. So, yes. What else? I don't know. Should Yo, we scroll, this weed is so good, bro. You want to talk about the uh, economic and social state of the world right now? You like that or no? What, what you put in your story? You know who said that? Yeah, we got to call Jayden Danny Hamlin. Right I just now. love that so much. I don't know why. I'm in fucking fire mode. Like, why right does everybody now. think they have to be the good guy? That's it? That's all there is? Yo, would about. you want Denny on the podcast? If you think so. Yeah, he's huge. He's, NASCAR is a huge audience. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. I'm just high and not caring. You calling him? Yeah. Put it down. He won't pick up. <laughs> he won't pick up. We're not on that level. He's always respectful, but we're not on that like pick up level. What level are you on? Did you pick up? I mean, that we did the. You the, have no service. Remember, I have no service. Somebody, how do I get service? Because this could be really good. Yeah, content. what's go on the? The password's Happy Dad on the Wi-Fi. If you want to give it. To me. Yeah, because there could be some. Good Why shit is crypto here. tanking so hard? You know. No what idea. What's going on? No. Do you idea. know. And we could also make the thumbnail like uh, like Mentary pranks. Fucking uh, Denny Hamlin scooter, like you know, something fucking weird. If we could get, because we this is internal pod. If we could get five fucking uh, like cool celebrities to pick up their phone right now, it would definitely enhance the show. <laughs> yeah, your eyes are so bloodshot. They always get bloodshot Aaron, <laughs> because I'm fucking so focused. <laughs> no, I think it's because you're high, bro. This is Tyson. Does have some good weed, dude? Like. Fire, whatever we just yeah, smoked. Not, fire, just saying, fucking that for whatever. He's and by the way, oh, I want to say one thing too. <laughs> Mike Tyson just got off. No charges filed against Mike Tyson for beating the fuck right. out of uh, that, that kid. Why did he do that? Why, Why did, did he, he that punch guy? the guy? I didn't look into it. Dude, what is the your guy opinion? Was annoying on? the fuck out of him. What was your opinion I mean, yeah, on? Of course, everything. he deserved it. Did he only do body? Dude, that kid's face was fucking annoying. Like just seeing the guy's face. Mm-hmm. Like, did you see his face? It was so fucking annoying. I don't know I why. I have my it opinion on me. this. What is your opinion on the situation? What do you mean? I think everyone agrees. The guy deserved it. I mean, why? Like, Mike's such a calm guy. Like, you're always a little scared if he's going to, like, 
you don't want to piss him off. Like no. he's the one guy that you like talk to and you're like, yo, I don't want to piss this guy off. So the fact that that kid was like reaching over the first class seat, like, dude, you know, like we're all about our fans too. But when you have no respect, you have no respect. Like was the that kid all, fucking deserved it. All body shots? No, I think he socked him in the face. Dude, he, I think I actually heard that he, I think I heard, he, I think I heard that he actually hit Troy <laughs> by accident. Oh my God. You know Troy? Like no. the guy on our podcast, he's like, give me another joint, Troy. Troy's his assistant, like a good guy. Oh. Yeah, and I think apparently Troy got ca- caught in the crossfire and he took it from Tyson. Dude, can you imagine being on that plane and just being like, holy shit, Mike Tyson just beat the <laughs> shit out of somebody on the plane? Yeah. You're so right about that. Mike was the one guy that I've met in my life that I looked in the eyes constantly while talking and was very cautious. Yeah. He was also the not, greatest. Not that he would ever be violent. Mike though. is the greatest no, But you fucking... just got to respect someone like that. Just... Yeah. He is such a respectful, great dude. And that kid, he should be able to do it to him like again. And again, that fucking kid deserved every Why fight. Why is that about Tyson, though? Because we're around fighters all the time. I never get that vibe from any other fighters. Because Mike's Tyson's had a couple... just like he's an older legend, right, too? So it's like you got to have respect for like... No, but why I mean, he's is an he older guy? But fight, other fighters, are, I don't feel intimidated around any of the UFC guys. Because Mike has a couple screws loose in the best way <laughs> yeah. possible. Yeah. Like Mike has fucking screws loose. Yeah. Everybody does. Like, I have screws exactly. loose. Okay, I just Mike will it. fuck you up if yeah. you talk shit. Okay, yeah. well then why? And he's the, but say. he's also the nicest fucking dude on the planet. So just uh-huh. don't piss him off. Fuck Aaron. Sorry. That, 100%. Yeah, that, that, that whole kid just thing pissed. Like he, and he's suing him too. He, of he's course. Su- fuck that. Well, people sue for anything nowadays, yeah. right? Well, whatever the kid sues for, we should start a GoFundMe and just cover that. We were thinking we could have done that. We could have sold some t-shirts and gave them all the things. Yeah, like apparently back, they're not getting sued. It might get sued, but you guys back the fuck 100%. out of this. 100%. Did you guys hear, yeah, you guys hear Jack Harlow's new album? Bro, I'm not a, I'm not that Anyways, big of a Jack uh, Harlow fan. No? He's dope, but I don't like his, like, I don't fanboy over his music. Do you? No, I think, no, I, I like his music. I think, I think some of his shit's good for sure. You know the vibe. I like the like harder shit. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm not. A you huge only fan. yeah yeah. You don't like white rappers, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I do, but like I like. You like feeling like thug and shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want to put your mind and like pretend you're a thug for a second. Yeah, it's like your escape. Hundred percent. Right? Like you, you pretend you're forty two Doug for a sec. Yeah, or little baby, but I don't get that vibe from Jack Harlow. Yeah, like, you can't be listening to his shit and just be in the club like feeling like, you know, he's getting respect from everybody though. JJ, you're on the Full Set Podcast. It's JJ Bob Reddick? Mettery. Who is that? What? You're on the phone with my podcast. We might edit it out later, but I needed to know. I need a connection to Michael Jordan to come on our show. We have the number one show in the world on YouTube. Can you do it? Is it, is it something you can do? Why you do this to me, Bobby? Why you do this to me? Because I love you. And at the end of the day, you know uh, I'm such a great guy. And I hopefully I know you're very tight with Michael. And as long as you can put in the good word, it'd be amazing to have him on the show. You got you got that for me. I will, I will always speak the highest accolades about you as I have nothing but the most love and respect for you. However, Ugh. I cannot guarantee what he will say or do, but will I ask him? One hundred percent. Well, when you're talking to you. when you're talking to the best salesman in the world that you are, uh, we know that you uh, you're and also uh, also too. You know Khabib the fighter. I, I know who he is. I do not know him personally. So he, he was by far probably the pound for pound the greatest fighter to ever fight in the UFC. He wanted to at some point link up with Michael Jordan. So that's if it if there's a way to bridge them together. I mean, Jordan will know who he is. He literally was the biggest, biggest athlete in the world. I'm happy to do whatever I can for you. As I just got done saying, the respect I have for you, admiration I have for you, how talented I think you are. I mean, you can imagine how many people ask me to do stuff for Michael, with Michael Jordan or affiliated with him. This guy knows he's live, by the him. way. You're one person that I'd literally go to bat for because I know he'd enjoy it. I know he'd get a kick out of it. And I know. That and we would be pounding Casamigos the whole time or whatever tequila there is. And well, it's up to you. I would love, I would love it. You're the man. If you could do, put in any good word. I mean, you know how we work. We did the president. We did everybody. I definitely. I got to talk about something anyway. I'll reach out to him. I love that. You're JJ. You're the best in the world. You know that. I miss you and I love you. Miss you and love you too, buddy. All right, buddy. We'll talk soon. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Love. Let's that's, get a big guest next week. That, but that's why I'm saying we that. Need, like, that's, let's, let's get back on the hunt. The feeling of posting a big guest. Ooh, Denny Hamlin just hit me up. What'd he say? I'm getting hot. This is when Mentory's getting hot. What'd he say? He said, uh, 
who at Sage Golfing can't talk on the phone here. Hmm. Got it. Got something big for you. <laughs> Call me when done. Trust. Also, I'm coming back into NASCAR. <laughs> And you are fucked. Yo, this Moo, guy's a menace, dude. Moo ha 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 ha. <laughs> he wrote that. <laughs> this is, I gotta read. This is why they don't come off. Yo, bro. this is what I, I, I just left. No, I got something big for you. If you have a good sense of humor, it's pretty funny. Moo ha ha. The Ripper Mobile is gonna fuck you up Sunday. That's what I sent before I cost him the championship. That would be like the FedEx Cup. You know yeah. the guy that wins the fucking FedEx? That, that would be the Masters, actually. Yeah. It's the Masters. Oh, I, I get it. Those guys. I've seen you take your tarp off. Yeah. Everyone okay. was pretty surprised when you took your tarp really? off. Yeah. Who said something? I said Besides something. Do you remember? Anybody else? Gabe no. said some shit. I think everyone was saying Steiny's his core is coming in. Yeah, bro. Barrel shrinking. You have to, because when I, when I, like when I was chubby and white as fuck when we were doing this, people roast the fuck out of you, and you actually think about it, and it's like, dude. Not being in shape is not cool. The worst is being like skinny fat too. Yeah, and you know I, what I mean. I get you fat know when in you're my like because like we're not like fat. Yeah, but then when you just get like it's hard fat fuck. here and fat in your face. Yeah, it's you the just worst. feel so unconfident. No, you right? feel terrible. Nothing's cool about it either. And it's like, dude, it's it's really for some people. I don't know, but if to go to the gym an hour a day, I can make it happen. You've been on the grind. Yeah. Well, it's also like when I am with Steve and Brad, they go every fucking day, bro. Steve will sometimes go like two or three times. Yeah. And he'll say some shit to me and call me out and be like, yo, dude, you look out of shape. When I'm here, I'm fucking dialed. Yeah. Traveling is tough with the eating. Yeah, with Happy Dad and shit, it's hard as fuck. But, but I don't think we have a Happy Dad trip for like another month. No, so not from New York. Big month of gains. Yeah. Let's make some Good. gains. Full send subs, bro. Full send subs coming soon. That's honestly what got me going because when you guys started sending all of it to Miami, like the whole team started taking that shit. Once you start taking pre workout, it just gets you so fired up. You got to go to the gym. You ever going to get in the gym, Bob? I may try your shit. I did try your vitamin C ones. Summer gave me a glass and she was like, oh, these are really good. And I'm just like, oh, let me try it. What was the orange flavored thing I poured in? The out? immunity booster. The immunity booster was fucking awesome. I only had one of your products. So we got some full send supplements coming soon. We've been working on them. We partnered with a company and they basically make like the cleanest product. Like it's it's all natural shit. It's and every single product officially is US ADA approved. That's one thing you guys do a good which job. Which is crazy. Yeah, like we can sponsor fucking UFC athletes, NFL athletes, college fucking. I actually just thought of something, but good job. Yeah. Every product that we do, I feel like Happy Dad, like our shit's always What's your be response like, to people that are like, yo, none of you guys are jacked? Because we fucking party and we travel. Yeah. And the supplements will get us there? Yeah. They'll help. I, I, I mean, any product they've done, I think they've shown that they do a pretty good job, Aaron. No, this I mean, is really yeah. lit. Like Happy Dad, they took their time. They, I'm not they, disagreeing. No, bro, obviously, but that's not, not just said supplements me. is going to fucking get you jacked, obviously. Yeah, I know, I know. But I think the, the other ones we have, the immunity boosters fire because you, like, when we're always on the go, like having those traveling with you, what would like, be the keeping best one the immunity from, strong because we can't get sick, bro. We can't never the shut sleeping down. One. Well, sleeping one. What one should I take? If the I take sleeping it. one and just sleep Sleeping pills are good. Has anyone tried them? Have you guys? Yeah, I have. It made me sleep. Oz got to take some. Did you wake like up groggy or no? No. Really? No. Good. So that's, it has like melatonin in it. We'll do a whole podcast. We'll figure out what's in the supplements and shit. Then the stamina pill. Oh my God. Wait, I can t- give me, the, like, give give me, me those stamina tonight. Pill. I want that. So I called the guy. Brett, stamina pill so I can fuck the shit out of summer tonight. Go ahead. The stamina pill. Brett, can you see if there's one there by that peanut butter? I'll take it right now. Let's test this product. <laughs> Why now? Is there a boner pill? No, no, sit down. What does it mean, like stamina? Like for so, the- I called the guy because, like, <laughs> I called the guy. Yeah, the stamina pill. So it's improved sexual energy. Dude, I need the whole fucking bottle tonight. But yo, this shit's usually like a scam, right? Like you see those rhino pills and shit. So like when we were making it, I called the guy and I was like, "Yo, like what is in this?" Because I don't want to sell some scammy ass shit, right? So he told me it just makes you like blood flow b- better. So, but you have to take it every day. So it's not like an immediate thing. You don't take it before you have sex. You take it consistently. And it gets you like more hard, bigger nuts, like mm-hmm. more. What about bigger I'll dick? be the judge. I won't lie to like your audience. Bigger loads. I'll take it. I'll take it. I yeah, will but be is your, bigger I'll, loads a great thing? Yeah, birds love big loads. Does it increase cock size? Not that. Like harder. More I mean, vascularity. I do that. I'm just curious. If it like makes you harder. Do you ever like bust and you just like didn't bust that much? Like your birds. Oh, like, it's the, the worst. Yeah, girls don't like that, bro. Yeah. yeah. So you got you to gotta have a nice load. 
Yeah, I kind of have small loads. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that now you probably like, have no nutrients, bro. You Shut don't... the fuck up, Aaron. <laughs> no, I'm saying you don't eat. Really yeah, drink. you have like no water, no nothing. You probably can't even have it. It's like a creature that the creature that just like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you just shoot blanks every time, bro. No, no, no. I don't shoot blanks. Someone's like, what's going <laughs> on? I'll tell you what, You're though. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's coming. Hold on, baby. There, we should get jacked eventually, though. I know it's. Dope. I don't think it's I'll hard. ever get a six pack as much as I'm like traveling and partying right now. No, but it's just tough. With Denny like, Hamlin's in, by the way. It. Done. We can go to uh, yeah, his Denny's... house. He has the sickest house with race cars everywhere. Podcast. Denny's Denny. lit. But let's yeah. go next week. Let's blow up fucking NASCAR, and then I'll get you in that race. I also want to get involved somehow in these things. Oh, here we go. Just gotta, you know, you're not the most healthy guy, so you gotta. <laughs> you well, know. guess what? Better test patient there is, motherfucker. Start testing them, then. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the whole fucking bottle tonight. Take two. Do you take two? What's the dosage? Here, I'll pop two. I'm gonna. Do I take it with Pass happy it. down here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there with the bone of the whole episode. <laughs> no. Tonight might be the night. There's no chemical. Like, there's all natural shit. That's the beauty of it. There's no like dumb. Chemicals. What do you take it for? Same thing. Pumps. Yeah. Pumps are going good lately. Pumps are good, man. Are you yeah, going to get married ever one day? I mean, I hope so. Are you going to get married there ready? Probably not. No. Are you? Maybe I will. Very soon. You will. You'll have a divorce probably. Yeah. I think it's tough, obviously, with this lifestyle and shit. It's with impossible. all the traveling and stuff like that. But I do think, yeah. For me, when you date in the mentoring relationship, locations are always on on both ends. Mine just loses signal once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yeah. So, so you, you, you would actually marry her, though? Yeah, I'm at a time. I'm old. So I'm, I'm 30. I'm 34 years old. I'm an old man, you know. So his, at the end of the day, but I'm I'm young. Are you actually looking to marry her soon? Within a month, I'm involving Justin Bieber, Scooter Braun. If you're listening, I'm gonna have her. I'm gonna do it on stage at Bieber. I don't think he's gonna let you do that. Probably not. But I'm pounding Scooter on that. She's gonna say yeah, right? Yeah, I ran. Why don't you get Morgan times. involved? She I'm loves not... Morgan. She's probably gonna look up. Oh Morgan yeah, let's get too. Morgan Wall involved. We won't even do the <laughs> fucking full send fucking podcast. Uh, well, I hope this happens for you. I think it's crazy for you i don't think it's the right move. no she's good i found the right one she's the best that's it did she tell you you're the right one we fight like little dogs she's from jersey i'm from boston so we get fucking mouthy with each other mm-hmm. all the time it's just how it is aaron i know I'm just making sure you make the right decision well that's why i don't want to see heartbroken we'll... either bob's wedding uh, if i get oh, heartbroken crazy. again i'm out because off camera there's some shit no. i need to tell you really <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah we'll talk about it later no you can't fuck with me right now on the show it'll fuck the rest of my mindset no i'm kidding there's do you have any information no no, no. <laughs> Don't fuck with no, me. I tried. You ever see loyal. yourself getting locks, Danny? Yeah, but I just feel like it'd be like for the wrong reasons. I'd probably get divorced and just be depressed or some shit. So you'll never get married, you think? I'll try, but it's like when I'm 35 and like she's a hot ass 27 year old, she probably marries me for the wrong reasons, and then it's like fuck. Aaron, you can't. I mean, oh, well, guess That's what? That's why we gotta get it's jacked. Hard to find hey, that love, wedding bro. is gonna be. That's great. why we gotta get jacked. Hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Why we need to get no, jacked? I'm sticking with the dad bod. Nah, I mean dad bods. It's very dad bod is too, not but. nothing cool as. There's nothing cool about the dad bod. There's I'll tell you what's cool, cool about, about the dad bod. You wear pink fucking salmon shirts, this blue shirt, and you get Michael Jordan in this fucking show. I think it works at times. Like in the winter, you definitely want to have a dad bod. You don't want to be jacked in the winter. Like nah, the th- girls want to cuddle up. They want to. Yeah. They want to put their hand on the barrel and shit. I know it does suck when they do that. When they like girls don't like it when it's too chiseled. You need to have like a little. Yeah, but we already got just our girl. something to like fuck. rest the hand right here. But then in the summer, you got to shred down a little bit. Yeah, but we already on, got you're our. You're on girl. yachts, fuck, bro. It doesn't matter. You're on the beach. You're doing supplement shit. You can do it. I'm not fucking changing. I slept with this girl like four months ago in Arizona and then not too long ago recently. And she commented and was like, wow, you're way, you're way skinnier from the first time. And it gives you a confidence. It's boost. a good feeling. Yeah. It was like, damn. She knows when a girl that. tells you like, oh, you look good. Yeah. Hold on. Like after you've been working out, you're like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. good. And she's like an eight. Anybody else? Who else is in the house right now? It's Gambles. Here? Gambles. Gotta have Gambles. Yeah. Get Gambles. Gambles. Yeah. We have she to get Gambles. About Rappy. Gambles. <laughs> Does Jimmy know what he's getting summoned for right now? No. What's good? The boys are requesting you on. Ooh, first appearance? Oh, you're sure. Probably my favorite guy. One of my favorite guys on the fucking planet. My guy. Who's requesting me? Oh, yeah. yeah everybody. Everyone. Okay. It's not the back end boys, you know? <laughs> had a great time with this guy at the Derby. Uh, my, I mean, that's who I had the most fun All with. All right, the we Derby. got Jimmy Gamble sitting down joining. Sleem just vanished somehow. He, he always does that, bro. What you does know he what I'm pissed do? off at? Why does Gambles get a bad rep with you guys? I think. I, I mean, we probably fuck. I, why do you I, think Gambles? I have no idea. I mean, I actually have no idea. I can't. I it drives me nuts actually when I see people fuck with you. It like I actually infuriates me. 
I kind of enjoy it though. I think I think what it is is that happens to everybody that actually joins Nelk. Oh yeah, I'm well aware of that actually, yeah. right? I think even Steve. Actually, yeah. When Steve first joined Nelk, there was a lot of hate on Steve. Salim, even asked Salim, he was like mm. he was ready to like leave. He was getting so much hate. Everyone's like, fuck this guy. Like yeah, yeah. so I think everyone that watches Nelk they want to join Nelk, so they get they get jealous. They're like, "Why this guy?" And yeah, I guess anyways, Gambles is kind no. Of, we, they we kind of have baby. somewhat of a point. Day like, one, like, baby. No, they do wonder. They're like, "Why Gambles?" You know. Well, yeah. But he's your day one. Yeah. yeah. Well, day but, well, ones, Gambles, dude. Gambles is my boy. He's hilarious. Hilarious, he's hilarious. dude. Yeah. Like yeah. I had so much fun at the derby with you, dude. I was me, you, and Summer most of the time. Oh yeah, we had a good time. We were <laughs> zappers. I mean, we call him like the send coordinator. That's what he started as. So his job was to just just be a, just send. You know. Like that was his job. It's the dopest job ever. Yeah, I, I liked it. I don't send as you much blew as that like, one, no? <laughs> yeah, I blew it as fuck. You were kind of <laughs> Jimmy though. You were actually kind of the girl thing. You were like me though. You were like, I got chicken to my girl and stuff. When you were at the derby, that's the only part I was disappointed in you at is, is you were always chicken back to yeah. your girl. Now I have a girl, so it's different. You think that shit on you though, but like you did have pubes taped to your face, right? Yeah. So it's like shit like that where they're probably like, fuck. I had the pubes on my face and I then- think that gained him a lot of respect. It did because your reaction of like being like fuck it was like the craziest thing I've ever seen. But you did have Steve's pubes, and it is kind of weird that Steve rocks a bush, by the way. I'm gonna throw that out. I, don't know what he's <laughs> I didn't know till the very end. I remember Kyle telling me. And then uh, when we got back to the penthouse, I was like, fuck, I have pubes on my face. Did it bother you or are you good? No, Wait, I was good. I mean, fuck. I you mean, didn't that's... see that? I don't watch anything. Oh, you're in God. a lot of it, man. You should probably start watching because there's some shit about you in there that's like. So you had pubes in your face. So we we fucking partied. Then we woke up the next day and gambles. Like when he's hung over, this guy's dumb. Like he's just yapping. <laughs> he doesn't shut up. He's so dumb when he's hung over. So Steve thought of the idea to do what Jackass did, where he shaves his bush and then you put it in a bag. And then we told Gambles it was uh it was like Art Basel weekend. So we told him that he was gonna be playing uh like a Mexican guy. And we're like, yo, we need you to put on this fake mustache for your character. But it was Steve's pubes. Right. So we glued it on his face. Yeah. And he had it on all day. And he didn't know. And he was so into the character and shit. It That's was so fucking fun. awesome. You crushed that, but like, can, imagine if we did that to Bob. If you did it to me, this is what would happen. <laughs> Let me just tell you what would happen. All right. So say I wake up. Kyle decides to pull that prank on me, Jimmy. I'll tell you what I would do. I'd put the pubes on my face. I'd put them all over. Okay. And then when somebody's like, you have pubes on your face, I would simply just take them off. I'd walk outside that door. They're glued on. And I would issue a fucking airstrike (laughs) on this fucking house. (laughs) And everybody would just blow up and die. Jimmy, has anything ever actually upset you? No, I take everything like a champ, to be honest. Was there there ever one thing where you're like, where you got pranked? Well, you, the golfer maybe, but. Because they fuck with me too. I've had it where I was like. No, I don't mind. I don't mind it. Like Sophia Franklin hurt me for a week. Oh, dude, you you couldn't have landed that bit, that girl. Sorry. No, I know, but I thought I did. Like that was a whole. We prank. got a new prank with her coming out yeah. next week too. I want to get involved in some pranks. Yeah, like, I want to do one. Am I yeah. allowed to? Yeah, you. you but like not like, but like, there's a chance you get fucked with, and you're such a pussy. Nobody fucks with me ever. That's a part of our, we have a deal. How, that can't be fair though, bro. It's not. Agreed That's not upon. fair at it's all. It's not agreed upon. But like, I just hope Kyle makes the right decision never to fuck with me uh, in a prank. Everyone gets fucked with. Yeah. Except for you. By the way, you were teetering. Yeah, Kyle's this never got pranked. Change. Someone, Kyle's people never have tried. By the way, people have tried. It, it, you know what? Let me just tell you this, though. You want to prank me? Launch that missile? I mean, <laughs> you will get pranked harder than you've ever been pranked in your life. Bob, you're so easy to prank. I'm going to have... I, like, we could get you any time. <laughs> don't we do you it? always post your location. No. no but you're listen. so easy to fool. You already think people are pranking you. Like, yeah. you're already looking around. Like, Here's the deal. I am a fucking... I will know everything that's going on at any given time. And hence why I didn't show up to that podcast recording. I'm not going to say it was or whatever. That wasn't a prank. No, it wasn't. Uh, you were that was wrong. you being a pussy. That was you just wrong. Yeah. Jimmy, so you coming. Uh, are we, what's our next trip? Like, let's do something fun. Like, I like the. Yo, New York. Think, we're launching uh, uh, New York State. New York's going to be fun. And then we got. Oh, I mean, I, I, you know. We got John's wedding. I don't know if you're invited. That's fine. I mean, if not invited, we're not invited. They don't really. I, I hope you are. Would you take that personally? If John is invited to the wedding? No, I would just be like, okay, that's, that's where we're at. Which is fine. I think we need a Vegas rip. July? Are you, did you get invited to John's wedding? Yeah, I did. Did you? My, uh, my <laughs> wedding invite must have been lo- left in the mail. Well, you don't have an address. <laughs> yeah, that is true. You don't have a fucking... <laughs> you literally full time like, well, receive it. Well, good luck pranking me then. <laughs> we'll find you. It's easy to find. <laughs>
Go see your even, girl. I'm not even here right now. We got summers. I got summers location. Do you? <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, when's John's wedding? June, something. If the offers on the table. Maybe I'll stop by. You know, I love Renee. One, so you, you guys made one of the best prop bets that I've ever seen in my life. Whatever went outside. What happened in the golf mat? Thing? It was a par so three. it was at our house. We had the sickest house for Derby, and uh, there's a it's like a par three at the house, like a not like some shitty golf hole. Like this was like a nice one. The green was whatever you can really put, but 110, 115 yards downhill par three. And they had a bunch of clubs too. Like we were worried. We thought we had to get our own clubs, but they had fucking even for lefties for me. They had like three different clubs, like a pitch, a fifty six, and a nine. So I was like, you could really play this whole, you know. And uh, I bet Steiny because he was, you know, Steiny thinks he's you. <laughs> he's not. taking a lot of money from yeah. me. But yeah, yeah, you, a little overconfident. What do you pretty, mean? How much is he taking from you? I mean, I don't, I don't know. think he's ever beat me in golf. He's like, taking like there's no way Steiny would ever beat me. Like, even on my worst day, he would never beat me in golf. I don't know what it is, bro. All right, like, continue on. Continue on your story. He's better than you, but so the bet. Um, we I bet him because we were playing for little money games, and uh, I took a thousand off Salim, and then uh, you I had bet, to throw that in. By the way, yeah. and, is he paid? Uh, no, he hasn't. Yeah, you're not getting that. I'm getting it. Right. And then uh, <laughs> I bet Steiny. I said 10k. If I win, I'll give Wait, you, you said 10k. said 5k initially. I said 5k initially. I said if I win, I'll give you 5k. If you lose, you have to wear a skirt to the Tiny countered? Yeah, 10,000. I didn't even counter. I I just said 10. Oh, yes. Yeah. So look at you it. act like you countered. Fuck you. I upped it cuz that, that's how confident I was. I mean, I have to take that back. So then what happens? You have five shots each. Five shots. Steiny hit zero. I played bad. I was dialed all day, but I hit two. The first swing you hit it on the green. No, I missed, I think. Miss miss. I hit five in a row, then he hit five in a row. Oh, okay. And what were you, two for five? Two for five. All right. But I was oh, dialed five. all day. That yeah, was you like were a dialed. bad performance. And so when you lost, it's the biggest event of the year. It's the Kentucky Derby, <laughs> and he had to fucking go in a skirt? Yeah. He came down in pants, too. Like, he wasn't <laughs> going to be a man of his word. And the thing is, I made him wear it is because I would have paid him. Steiny would have made me pay. 100%. A thousand percent. And you honored the bet, though. I am proud of you because you tried to push out. I always pay my debts. I heard from sleeping up in the attic this little, like, noise. It was you <laughs> sleeping, like, literally, some reason, in my room with Summer. Like, I was with Summer. Steiny's in my room, and I heard you pretending you were going to fake sick and not go to the derby. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, you texted. You're like, is there a COVID nurse? <laughs> were you whatever. being serious? <laughs> no, bro. I'm uh, joking because I knew I had to do that shit. But yeah. but you, we were in like Louisville, Kentucky. Bro, yeah, Tucky. it's not fun wearing that. I got a lot of dirty looks. Like you're wearing a fucking skirt and you, there you don't see many guys wearing a skirt. That is brutal. And it's like I'm getting dirty looks from so many people, bro. Like <laughs> so uncomfortable. And people are saying shit to like their friends and wives and <laughs> saying shit to me. Yeah, It was funny though. It's like funny, but it's also some guy my... picked you up or some shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about that, but it's it's more funny. Too but it pissed pissed me off because in in L A, if I did that shit, like I'm like, yeah. dude, a lot of confidence. Like we really like your fit, you know. Like I'm the man. Yeah. Oh yeah, you went down to the fucking where they don't fuck. So worst that. place to do it, L A. You could get away with it, which but... makes Kyle girls, a genius. Do you think girls actually like that when guys like wear that shit, like Harry Styles and shit? They do because they love Harry Styles and he's the fucking. Worst I think it's just because he's ever. a good looking guy. I don't think it's because he's wearing a skirt. You got a chance with every girl. You just got to play your cards right. 100%. Actually, that's not true, but you got to know who you can pull and who you can't pull. You know I your think. limits. You know your limits. You know your limits. Yeah. How do you but, know that, but though? You just got to you got to get the feel. You got to know, you know. So who do you think like you're Noel, Max like you should What I the fuck know. do you mean, bro? I could have done that. You clearly could have. You clearly could not. Did you think I could have it? Were, were you ever thinking, yo, he he can do this or not? Uh, no, cuz I think you gave her too much attention. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I think I think with these. No, I, yeah, you fumble on the one. You always like get to the one yard line and fumble the football. <laughs> yeah. Certain girls that are like you know a lot of guys are after them. I, you can't give them attention. No, but that's what's hard now because any hot girl on the gram is getting pursued by so many dudes. Do you want me to set so you, you just got to take your chances and not give them attention. You just play it cool, be friendly with them. You know, crack some jokes. But I think the second you you let them know that they're interested, that you're interested in them, you're just like every other guy because. Like you said, guys throw themselves. Just possess the same kind of wise ass confidence you do <laughs> with me. I've done that. It didn't work. Yeah, because then you fucking can't close. You're an opener. I can close. <laughs> you know? I can close. Um, I can pay if you want a girl, I'll find five <laughs> girls for you that might be good for you. If you want me to. No, that's all good. I don't need your help. Appreciate it. Yeah, if any girls are watching, slide into Steiny's DMs. Guy guy needs to get <laughs> locked. Yeah, I guess. I think a girl would be good for you. And yeah. I thought I had a girl until yesterday. So that'd know. be weird. Yeah. Steiny with a girl. He'd be like, oh, he'd be the biggest fucking pussy. What do you mean? I've had chicks come around and shit. No, 
I thought chicks, they're called women. <laughs> <laughs> I thought chicks come around. Like, no, you just never, you've never brought like a main thing on a trip. Well, but bro, to be honest, it's just like, it's just going to affect my work and I have to fucking yeah. Which focus I respect. 24-7. When's, uh, when's a wedding? Are you going to have kids? Am I going to have kids? You shouldn't have kids, oh my bro. God, my ki- I'm going to have eight. How many times is that kid going to get left in the car? Like, <laughs> fuck, you know, like I have a child, you know? No, that Men or he will have a baby. That's zap, literally though. home yeah. alone every day if Bob has a kid. Forget he's Summer's big, hi, where the fuck is the red payment? I'm like, Do you, baby. Is she on the pill? Uh, I don't know. I, I pull out every time. She but every I, time. I did fire in one nugget the other night, but <laughs> but it was the day before a period that we knew was coming. So I fired a mega blast. In there. Yo, Bob Menry's kid is going to be the most oh interesting kid in the world, bro. Mm-hmm. He's, he's going to be like a Bill Gates, maybe. Holy shit. Could Bob Menry. Yeah, we're, get, hey, we're, getting su- we're getting summer's jeans, though. I don't know if it's going to be Bill Gates. It's going to be more like Rain Man. <laughs> 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 That's nothing against summer. It's just about me. You know. It's what me. did you write on your hand yeah. for the Trump thing? What was it? Say less. Less is more. Less is more. Just it's always so been my thing. Like in this thing, I don't mind talking a lot because it's us just shooting the shits, and I've talked a lot. I'm sorry, but like when they have the guests on, I do try and make a conscious effort to cut questions down and get better every day. But I feel like you do the opposite of that. You're super extra. Like yeah, you'll post 400 stories in a night, so it's not really less is more. <laughs> yeah, but then sometimes I'll just go off the grid for three days. <laughs> so like I just you never know. Really like, rarely. Yeah, very rarely. I don't go off the grid much. No, <laughs> everybody in the you did world recently, knows what you're doing. But that's about it. Oh, really? But you're never really off the grid. It's good, though. I love watching Bob's stories. I love the that. Best, yeah, bro. you know, follow Bob Menery, right? <laughs> so the, uh, t- Most entertaining <laughs> shit in the game. Uh, all right, so what should we do? Should we get ready to go, like, figure out who the next motherfucker is? I'm excited yeah, about it. Yeah, I think we're good. Next Let's week, we're going to have a up. We, yeah. got a, we got a big guest coming up next week and the week after. Um, subscribe to the Full Send Podcast. We'll see you guys next week. And make sure you drop those comments on guests you guys want us to come after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to let anybody down. I'm, I'm bringing in Jordan. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think yourself. that's going to happen very soon. But Hope down the true. line, yes. Not ASAP. No, I get like probably within a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's, all right. Well, good luck, I Bob. We're rooting for you. Good. Thanks, all right, thanks. All right, this is fun. This is good. I enjoy it. Yep. All right, so we got to go get a huge guest next week. You close to me. I'm in the like I'm Let's get Happy Dad to be the number one seltzer this summer. You can go to happydad.com slash find us to find a local store or bar that carries Happy Dad near you. And boys, make sure you tag us on Instagram at Happy Dad on your IG stories because we're reposting a ton of you guys. And don't forget, you got to be 21 plus to buy and drink Happy Dad.